Well, hello, lovely people. Welcome to Focus Hive. So what happened today is I got excited, a uh, lot of positivity, a lot of energy. I wrote an article and uh, now I'm going to make this video and uh, talk about everything that I wrote on the article so that uh, people who like videos can go through the video and, and have benefits of it. But uh, I'm still thinking as to what format or how should I present all the ideas that I put on the article. But uh, what the heck, let's just, uh, let's just go through it and, and see how we try and understand each and every topic that I said. Probably it's going to be a long video, so sit tight, watch it through and through, and uh, then share your feedback, share your uh, suggestions, how you want me to change the video or the, or the content type and um, let's get on with it then so the article was about being a great team player and so uh, it's a it's a coveted title that everybody wants to be or wants to become that loving lovable go-to guy or a go-to person in the team and uh, everybody has heard from their managers from their coaches from the leaders that you should be a team player you should be a good team player. Look at different areas that you could improve on to be a great team player. Seldom has anyone took the effort to go and tell you that you got to do X, Y, Z to be the best team player that there can be. I clearly remember the situations when, when I was in, when I would uh, go out or I would have a discussion with my friends and uh, rant about whatever has happened in the meetings and maybe hear the ranting or venting out from my colleagues or my friends that they are feeling unappreciated or they are not very happy how things are going or whatever they are doing is not being seen. I, cl I clearly remember a friend of mine, high level Linux troubleshooter, right? crazy guy if you talk about Linux he knows everything on his on the tip of his fingers but he was un, un, he was unappreciated and uh, from my point of view he was a wrong fit in the role uh, good friend of mine and Frank quite frankly towards the towards the end of his corporate career I was the one to tell him that bro drop it this is not your ball game you're a you're a entrepreneur go run your business and that's what currently he's doing and he's doing really good but what I want to bring from his experience is that he used to often get to hear this, that you need to do more. You need to be a good team player. You need to be a, someone who you can collaborate with, but nobody ever told him what to do and how to do. So probably this is my attempt to explain you step by step as to what you should do to be called as a great team player, to be the go-to person. Because if you look at your career graph, the moment you become a go-to person, the moment you are the um, candy of everybody's eye, you start seeing yourself growing in the career ladder. So let's talk about one of the most important aspect that is kind of uh, cherished when when we look at someone as a great team player and that is reliability number one be reliable right what does that mean be reliable well rahul trouble right if you look at uh, indian cricket 90s and probably in 2000s as well, Rahul Dravid was the most reliable batsman India could ever have. Right? There's a reason why he's called the wall. So you've got to be reliable, which means people should be able to depend on you. And how do you inculcate that? And how do you make everybody believe that you're reliable? How do you get to a situation where people start believing in you just by walking the talk. Which means 
whatever you are saying you will do you do that right you got to be like salman khan right who says jo main kehta hu wo main karta hu aur jo main nahi kehta wo main definitely karta hu but means he does it and that's how the image is built not overnight of course not overnight it takes some time and effort from your side to build that image right so every time you commit to something you fulfill it from my point of view the second such quality is someone who is not dominant when i say dominant i pretty much want to say that you are not someone who's just eating up everybody's time you are not someone who's just overshadowing everybody you are not someone who's getting into a meeting room and just blabbering yourself out don't be a attention hogger right yes it's as jordan peterson say you should be a monster you know because everyone says well you should be harmless virtuous you shouldn't do anyone any harm you should sheath your competitive instinct you shouldn't try to win you know you you don't want to be too aggressive you don't want to be too assertive you want to take a back seat and all of that it's like no wrong you should be a monster an absolute monster and then you should learn how to control it is right you got to be a monster you got to be a monster but you should also know that you are a monster and stop yourself from being a monster you should have that much control on yourself and your emotions hence i say be humble and give space to everybody give space to everyone always believe in the best performer should win right collaborate cooperate work with work with everybody right we are human beings and i have been i think i have made another video probably a link that video that we we are a pack animal we don't do lone wolf thing we, we cannot survive doing that we are a pack animal we need our pack so if you keep dominating if you keep eating up attention dude you're going to be lonely so ensure that when you're working in a group you're giving that space to everybody you're making everybody feel comfortable yes you're going to speak your mind but you're not going to offend anyone and well let's talk about that in the next point but over here what i want to say is like you give everybody space you give everybody respect you be humble you put your point across and like let everybody else put their point across don't eat up others work and just be who you are third quality is being a problem solver what does it mean it doesn't mean that when a problem is thrown at you you are able to solve it that anybody can do and probably that's the reason why you are hired that problems are given to you and you solve that but you are one of those person who when sitting idle is able to identify opportunities able to identify problems and then solve those problems probably those those are not something for you to solve but it's a general problem for your team it's a general problem that you're seeing that is kind of eating up everybody's time and effort so you know you can fix it you go you take the initiative and you're like let's do it these are some of the suggestions these are some of the some of the options that we can do to solve this problem so you are someone who takes initiative you are someone who are who is helping people solve their problem so you see a problem you treat it as an opportunity and you resolve it that is what i mean by saying that you should be a problem solver fourth point which is everybody goes through it every teams goes through it or every organization grow, goes through it there are there are tribal knowledge and a uh, lot of people and especially the baby boomers feel that some sort of information if they keep to themselves they feel comfortable and safe and they feel like okay i know this and only i can handle it or only i can use it i will not share it that is number one problem right and number two is 
there is another group another kind of a group where people are people know people understand but they're scared of sharing that information around or they're scared of publicly telling about it because they feel that what if i am wrong people will start judging me and then they'll start correcting me in public right so this quality that i'm talking about is for both these kind of people right baby boomers and the other group that is shy and scared and all you should not behave like baby boomers and you should not be scared and shy of being judged in open just look at it as as a mechanism of feedback right so if you know you have some idea about a problem that you can help solve some way or you have some information somebody is asking something and you have some information about it share it share information freely share knowledge freely challenge with tribal knowledge is that that knowledge stays with you if you lose if you leave the job and go that information goes out with you kt is just a fancy word it never happens so ensure that you share information freely with everybody and believe me when you start sharing information freely with everybody you will suddenly see that you have a fan following people start liking you people start coming to you to get more out of you right and that is when you suddenly become the guru of your team so share information freely without having the fear of being judged right stay away from skepticism all of those are not awesome for you to grow and be happy about yourself so ensure that you share information freely right so fifth point i guess fifth point uh you're not afraid of failure because you have a growth mindset because you don't have a fixed mindset because you believe in the word yet to kya hua agar fail ho gaya we learn from it and will change the course of action that we are doing and ensure that the next attempt we move one step further and further and reach the goal the moment you have this attitude where you ensure that you are always learning from your experiences there is no mistake after that so you are always brave in every given situation because you know in your mind you're never going to fail because failure doesn't exist it is always an opportunity for you to learn if it doesn't meet the criteria that you were looking for and then you can always pivot out of it make changes move on come on there's nothing called as failure sixth as if you have watched my video i've been talking about things that i feel the way i feel and i preach that as well speak your mind don't be scared about polishing it just be humble about it be respectful right don't be rude don't be an ah right be humble be respectful with whoever you are talking to whether you are talking to uh, your reporters whether you are talking to your boss whether you are talking to whoever in the world be respectful be humble try and listen to their point of view right but don't stop from sharing your point of view speak your mind and unless you speak how on earth the other person is going to know what you're thinking right so tell speak god has given you a tongue use that uh, adam's apple make the voice come out speak your mind don't be scared don't be shy don't don't have the fear that okay maybe i will sound stupid well stupid is something as one of my seniors in the school had defined the acronym smart talented unique personality in my hometown dhanbad stupid you're always stupid well it applies to everyone where whose city starts with d right you all are stupid smart talented unique personality in delhi smart talented unique personality in dehradun so we all are stupid and the seventh point here comes a important one because you need to say no and uh, i i learned about it uh, really really early in my career where I, if i can't do it i can't do it i can't just say yes and then 
slog about it there are a lot of gurus who say that you you say yes and then you go and learn well you're learning on someone else's time you want to learn go learn about it and then come back and say hey if you have if you're not done with it i can help you right so yeah i mean everybody has their own point of view everybody has their own decisions based on the information that they have at that point in time for me uh if i can learn and do it i will say yes if i have that much time for example i have to i have to do some reporting right and i may not know how to match certain fields but i know it's a 5 minutes job if i go google and i'll know it so i'll say yes i'll get it done and then i come back and i do google and i figure out how it's done and then i do it and give it back but let's say i have i i have to go back and do a 3 months course i'll say i can't do it sorry out of my scope right or maybe i don't have time because i am already loaded with multiple things so a very important idea at this point is that you should be able to negotiate with whoever you, is giving you that work right probably this is a situation with you and your boss so you're getting the work from your boss and that's where people are scared of saying no but instead of saying no you just go with your, with the list of tasks that you're doing and you say do you want me to deprioritize any of that right and they'll know what you're trying to say so they'll either they will help you remove one of the items so that you can make space to do the new task or they'll say okay fine you're already busy let me have someone else do this task and you both are respectful about it and nobody is being judged because you're already performing optimum and delivering every task that you has already been given to you and you don't have time and uh, and probably energy to add anything else right so negotiate and also at times provide options and if you are able to uh if you are able to uh, do a negotiation on priority of your work and the two is if you are able to give options it's really an amazing way to say no so that's the right way to say no to anything that coming your way but ensure that you are always humble and respectful that's the key of everything that we are saying right that's the key of humanity you're a pack animal man to all you can't be biting each other all the time now the eighth point is you believe in hustle which means you are not passive you are a go getter and as i call it you are the extra miler everybody loves someone in their team who can squeeze in that extra juice to get things done everybody loves it so figure out ways and means that you could have that extra energy that you could have that extra time and be that extra miler right look at look at your calendar see what are the time that you're free and maybe move things up and down there is always possibility when there's nothing you know you're you've done everything from your side but if there is an opportunity take that take up the extra work that is coming or that is just lying idle right so remember i'm not putting it high in the priority because there are a lot of things that you're doing already it's it's really at the eighth point in the list but it works everybody everybody loves that if someone does something extra for you hence being an extra miler gets you those brown, brownie points number 9 9 is don't give in to negative tendencies and probably this is lower in my list because i respect all of you and i know each one of you you guys are strong you don't give in to negative tendencies you you are always working with ethics and uh, that's why we are together now when i say don't give in to negative tendencies it is is difficult it is very difficult y- you want to go into that little bit of a chit chat with your friend and rant about your boss you want to go and talk to your colleague about the other guy who did something stupid you want to get involved in something that you shouldn't be but if you ha- if you are conscious if you are conscious about what you are doing right now you'll not give in to negative tendencies 
it's a normal human nature to be pulled toward negativity it takes effort to repel out of it so you need to have a conscious mindset to ensure and tell you that and then you come out and finally my friends i know it's a long video i i've tried to keep it interesting for all of you but the last point finally you are smart enough to understand your team's dynamics so you need to be able to understand who is who you should be able to figure out who is introvert who is extrovert and you don't pull an introvert and say hey come on do a public speaking because then they will not like you so you need to understand what clicks for your team and then go do the symphony right and then obviously um, if you put all these 10 things together you are the most likable person that's what you will be if if you follow all these 10 points now i'm not going to recap it i will link the article in the description go read it uh this video is available on youtube please watch it share it as much as possible and if you're hitting this video for the first time please subscribe the youtube channel uh, i put efforts guys please please subscribe with that I'd say thank you so much and let's meet next week. Bye-bye.